Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will create simple underwater effect using a full screen shader. By the end of the video, you will get something like this. For this, I'm using Unity version 2023.1 and I have a project set up in URP. Now with that out of the way, let's get shading. So for achieving the effect, we will simply distort our screen using full screen shader. I am going to set up a full screen shader graph real quick. And if you don't know how, don't worry, I have created an introduction video dedicated to full screen shader graph. I will link it in the description below. Okay, I have created a shader graph and also created and applied the material in our renderer feature. As a result, our scene view has turned into full gray void. In shader graph, we can see that the reason is we have this default color in the base color slot. Let's fix it by creating a scene color node. Scene color node will give us color from our camera's color buffer. In simple words, it will give us color of each pixel our camera is rendering based on this UV. Simply take scene color node's output and feed it into the base color block. And we can see that our scene view has become normal. Now we can distort that using these UVs. And for that, let's create a UV node. It will give us access to the default UVs with 00, 0 here and 11 1 here. Take its output and feed it into LERP node. LERP stands for Linear Interpolation. It will interpolate between input A and B using this input T which has a valid range from 0 to 1. So if we feed 0 it will take output from input A. If we feed 1, it will take output from input B. And if we feed 0.3, it will take 30% from A and 70% from input B. Now we want to distort the UVs and for that we will use simple noise node. We will control this scale from the inspector. So let's create a float property, call it noise scale, give default value of 10, drag it in and feed it into the scale. Then take simple noise node's output and feed it into the input B of the LERP node. Now we want to control the input T from the inspector. So let's create another float property. Call it blend, set the mode to slider which goes from 0 to 1, drag it in and feed it into the input T. Then take lerp nodes output and feed it into the scene color nodes UVs. Now we can use the blend property to distort our screen, pretty cool. Okay, now we want to scroll our noise over time. So let's create a tiling and offset node. Take its output and feed it into the simple noise nodes UVs. Now we will change this offset over time. So let's create a time node. We also want to control the speed from the inspector. So let's create a vector 2 property. Call it pan speed. Give default value of 1 1, drag it in. We will multiply our time with pan speed. Now we can just take our multiply nodes output and feed it into the offset. But I don't want to scroll our noise in single direction. I want to make it go back and forth. For that I will create a float property amplitude to control how far we want to scroll the noise. Now take our multiply nodes output 
and feed it into the sign node. Sign node will give us sine waves with values minus 1 to 1. So basically it will just ping pong between minus 1 and 1. Then we will multiply our sign nodes output with our amplitude. Finally take our multiply nodes output and feed it into the offset of our tiling and offset node. That's it for our shader graph. Save it. In the scene view, let's adjust our shader values. And we have our basic underwater screen distortion effect. That's pretty much the video. If you find the video helpful, consider like, share and subscribe. Wishlist my game Cosmic Roads on Steam. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. That's it from me and I will see you guys in the next one.